What do you think? What will happen if uh, Donald Trump wins again the presidency? The year 2024 is full of elections. Probably the most uh, important for global uh, politics is the elections uh, in the United States in November 5th. So let's see what will happen. So who is going to win uh, presidential elections in the United States this year? As a political scientist and uh, expert uh, in election field, I will never advise you to, to vote uh, for or against uh, any candidates. It's a lot of time until uh, the elections. A lot of things may uh, change. However, uh, let's assume uh, Donald Trump wins uh, uh, his uh, presidency again. I'm wondering, and probably you are wondering, how uh, that will affect global politics, the situation in the world, especially in terms of uh, the war in Ukraine, war against Ukraine. We remember that uh, Donald Trump uh, stated that uh, he would uh, just like that uh, uh, break a deal with uh, Putin and uh, end the war within 24 hours. Let's see. European politicians and uh, ordinary citizens uh, we can uh, feel and hear a lot of uh, questions. What will happen to the Europe, to European Union? We remember statements uh, of Donald Trump against uh, NATO. Is NATO going to survive? Is Trump going to apply isolation politics uh, towards uh, his allies? Is he going to uh, leave Europe uh, unprotected? What should Europe do to bypass that threat? What Europe can do to prevent the worst case scenario? Should the European Union establish its own uh, armed forces? After all, uh, the question is, uh, how tangible is uh, the threat of uh, Russian aggression against uh, NATO, with or without United States? We'll see. Many things uh, may happen until the elections uh, in the United States. And uh, many things can happen in Europe, in the rest of the world. So, what would happen if the worst case scenario really rolls over? And the question is, is United States going to survive uh, his uh, presidency untouched, especially the economy? Yeah, he is, uh, he is a businessman, but uh, let's not forget uh, how many times he declared bankruptcy. Can he afford the uh, United States to go bankrupt? How he is uh, going to position United States uh, towards BRICS countries? It's now BRICS plus, and it's growing. I don't think United States can afford to isolate itself from the rest of the world. And how he is going to deal with the 
situation in Israel and Palestine. There are many questions. That's why I decided uh, to go to European Union and ask a few questions at the right place. So, let's go to... And welcome to Warsaw, Poland. So, it's very beautiful day here. Okay, I will ask uh, one of the Polish citizens. What's your name? Uh, my name is Peter. Uh, good. Thank you, Peter, for participating. So, uh, I would like to ask you, uh, are you afraid of uh, Russian aggression, maybe? Well, for centuries we, we were threatened by, by our eastern neighbor. Uh, I mean Russia, so we are used to, to be afraid somewhere deep inside that uh, one day in the time uh, Russian aggression will come here again. Uh, right now we are in the NATO and uh, I believe uh, we have s uh, partners like the United States of America and, uh, and other Western powers. So uh, most likely Putin will, won't uh, come here. Uh -huh. yeah. But what about uh, if Trump uh, uh, dissolves NATO? Uh, we don't know actually. We don't know. Uh, I think that uh, uh, Trump, Trump uh, is a pretty reasonable guy sometimes, and when he says that you have to pay for, uh, uh, for, 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 for NATO, and we pay for NATO, he will, he will, uh, he will save us, or he will, he will help us in so case do you, of trouble. Do you think uh, maybe but it's... But he's just uh, a guy, you know, he, he, he can change his mind, so... Yeah. Uh, do you think it's an uh, option uh, also uh, to establish uh, European armed forces. Uh, yeah, I think it would be a good idea to do it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what about uh, you? Uh, are you afraid of uh, uh, Russian aggression? I, as my colleague here said, we were always afraid uh, of Russian aggression. I think when the war started, we were very afraid. But at the moment, we know that there is a threat, but we kind of, I think, get used to that, that we have to live on, live on, and the threat will always be here. I don't believe that uh, Putin will invade Poland or move further. I hope not. I don't believe that Trump is able to dissolve NATO because he's just one person, and we have many rulers in Europe and across the world, and I don't think that they will let him they will probably move him away from power rather than let him do anything. I hope it will not happen. And I think that we should gather as many uh, armed forces as we can and we should unite in doing that. Like, have a one voice. Like the Terrans. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No problem. See you.